Mm, story time with Barkley, yeah! Man, I am so glad to be back from Bellevue because, like, you know, my my trip in Bellevue was was pretty crazy because my owner Simon, you know, had to go to a a friend's birthday party, and the birthday party kind of was very extensive. Like, it started out in downtown Bellevue, then it started out in in well Capitol Hill, I believe. And anyway, I will tell you guys the story of everything that happened over this past weekend. So anyway, as our story really began, you know, my owner Simon was like packing up all his clothes and, and then he requested an Uber to pick him up. And so then the Uber picked him up. We got to the hotel and then all of a sudden we saw Lorenzo, Lorenzo Ball's dad, you know, checking into the hotel in Bellevue. And I think he like got done with like some sort of interview that he did on 710 ESPN, I believe. And unfortunately, he did not have a very pleasant look on his face. He kind of looked pretty mad. So anyway, then my owner Simon and I, we then went around like University of Washington. And we were just kind of like walking around and all that stuff. My owner Simon was checking out a bunch of beautiful girls as he was walking, you know, around UW and all that stuff. And we even saw some squirrels as well. And I think, unfortunately, some of the squirrels even went inside the backpack. And unfortunately, they made me sick. And I had to cough them out, you know, because they were making me have a stomach ache. You know, it was pretty bad. So then what happened was then around like 5 o'clock p.m., you know, as we were done walking around, then my owner, Simon, you know, sneaked into a frat party. And there was a lot of dancing. He was like dancing with a lot of beautiful girls and all that stuff. And, you know, it was pretty fun and unfortunately he kind of drank a little bit too much and so then what happened was he ended up grinding on some girls that unfortunately had boyfriends and so then they ended up chasing him out of the door and then he had to jump out of a window <laughs> so then what happened was after he jumped out the window you know then he started running away and so then a lot of other college students were chasing him you know and then I was like on his back and they're like oh man we gotta run away man and so then what happened was we then saw Lonzo Ball's dad's car and it just so happened that he was parked by UW and unfortunately my owner Simon stole the car from him and he was like hey hey man that's my car go back and so then he was like driving and then a bunch of police cars started chasing him as more of the popos were chasing after Simon, you know, Simon was really good at driving the car. And so then he, we drove back to our hotel room, you know, back in downtown Bellevue. And unfortunately, the popos, like, never caught us. But unfortunately, though, you know, L L Lonzo Ball's dad did file a complaint against that. And I remember during the chase, he was going like, he was like saying like, Somebody better find my car or I'm going to sue somebody for $90 million, man. So anyway, after all that craziness, you know, the next day was actually the birthday party. And so my owner, Simon, you know, was in downtown Bellevue. He was in fancy clothes and all that stuff. And everything was going well. But unfortunately, there was one problem. A lot of people came to the party. And unfortunately, you know, the guest, you know, unfortunately, you know, she, you know, the guest, unfortunately, just didn't really set up the party right. And unfortunately, like, five, 56 people went. So anyway, after dinner time, I actually found out that a hundred more people actually came into the party. And so then we went to this uh, one nightclub that was in Capitol Hill. And so then anyway, my owner Simon just kept on dancing with a bunch of girls and all that stuff. And he was like being really wild. And he was going like, Yahoo! And he was going like, Yee-ha! And then he was also going like, Hahooka! <laughs> So anyway, after all the wildness that happened in Capitol Hill, then my owner Simon was with his friends, and his friends actually drove him back to his hotel room, and he actually slept pretty nicely. But unfortunately, the next day, as he got up and he got some breakfast, he actually went to go see Lonzo Ball's dad, and unfortunately, he was not very nice. He was like, man, you stole my car. You stole my car, man. You know, like, you stole my car. You know, you're lucky I, I did not catch you, man. But anyway, that's just unfortunately how the story went. There wasn't really much to it, except um, we just kind of went home. And, and unfortunately, too, you know, 
Lorenzo Ball's dad was waiting for us. He was like, you go pay for my car. And so then he started, you know, you know, chasing after, you know, Simon and I. And unfortunately, then he, <laughs> he then, you know, went into the house. And unfortunately, he got like knocked out or something. And so then he had to be taken back to Los Angeles after that. And then we thought, like, Lonzo Ball's dad was unfortunately, you know, dead or something like that. But then what happened was, then he got back up, he picked up Simon, and he threw him into the sky really hard. And so then my owner, Simon, was screaming, he was like, ah! And then he, like, hit, like, some sort of, like, you know, like, space uh, satellite or something. And unfortunately, he came back to, to Earth, and he was, like, all beaten up. And unfortunately, he had to be taken to the hospital. But yeah, unfortunately, my owner, Simon, was, like, taken to the hospital. And unfortunately, I found out that he's probably not going to get out of the hospital for another four weeks just because of all the injuries that he suffered. But the good news for me was that I was um, able to be in the house just fine, and I'm just kind of waiting for him until he gets back. And so anyway, that is story time with me, Barkley the Backpack. And I hope that you guys have a good spring and don't get attacked by Lonzo Ball's dad. Bye-bye, everybody.